All right, folks, so in a recent announcement from Tractor, um, they introduced the new S4. And on the S4, they changed these offset buttons to become a flux button and a reset button. It sparked the question, many people say, hey, I've never used these buttons before, I don't even know what they do. So I just wanted to show you what they do on the original S4 and how you use them. So you might find then that you're mixing in a track here um, you've got it synced in and you're just literally going to mix in a track here. So you mix it in, whatever, we're not going to show off on any mixing skills here. You mixed it in and it's in and you think, oh, you know what, that's really slow. I don't, I don't want it that slow, I want it speeded up. Or it's too fast and I want it slowed down. But what you can see is the fader on the screen is in center and the fader on the hardware is a little bit low of center. Now that's what this light is telling us here. This light saying you need to move the hardware fader up in order to align it with the fader that's on the screen. Now what happens if I just go ahead and touch this fader is the, so the software fader will jump to the position of the hardware fader and it might sound terrible. So what you can do is you can hold shift and you can move the hardware fader along the pitch fader here until the light changes and you can see there it shows to go back down and up and if you can get the center just between the two you'll find that both lights go off it's kind of close right here okay and if you're there then you let go of the shift and now the hardware fader takes over the software fader in that position without that awkward jump so this is what the jump would look like and it just literally jumps and so to save that hassle you can hold shift and go and intercept using these guidelines here with those lights and then you can take it over softer so that is what the offset buttons currently do they also do they can disable the pitch so if you hold them both down together they're both bright pitch fader jumps back down to the center and this doesn't do anything hit them both again and the pitch fader on the software jumps to where it is on the hardware. So that's what this area does. You can subscribe to the channel, receive tips in your inbox or take the online course. I'd love to hear your feedback, good or bad, in the comments below. Thanks for watching.